Mana boleh bagi tahu ya Allah. <laughs> Ice cream so so loud. It became like an emergency. To this day, even my parents don't know about it. Oh no. Yeah. No for real? Yeah, for real. Hi Alice, I'm Moses. Moses, nice to meet nice. you. My name is Aisha. Hi, I'm Amila. Ooh. All right, uh, Alice, what do we have on the plate? Oh, we have here an extra crispy roti canai. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells so good. This is the sound meter, and we are going to use it to measure the <laughs> <laughs> the crispiness of this. Wow. Okay. I am gonna dig in first. Okay, go ahead. I'm watching the decibel meter. Oh, hear that sound? It already sounds like extra crispy. Yeah, I believe this is crispy to the sini, okay? Not try to cut the tongue and just. Oh no! I'm gonna get to ask the question. Alright. This is an easy question. If you could eat. Uh, only one type of cuisine for the rest of your life. What would it be and why? It's, it gotta have like spicy elements to it. I want my grandma's like fish curry, mm -hmm. but made vegan obviously because I'm vegan. I would pick nasi lemak. Nasi definitely. lemak? No, oh, that's a good choice. I mean like... Nasi lemak, hands down. What's your favorite childhood memory? Okay, we're going back to the childhood. <laughs> we're going back, yeah. I'm way back. Cry. The last time we went for a picnic at the beach before my parents get divorced. <laughs> Sorry, I'm about to cry. So, since I moved to KL, mm -hmm. I've been staying alone. So oh, really? When I was a child, you know the benefits you get when you come home? There's a yeah. food, cooked meal on yeah. the table already. Yeah. So, I don't get that. I could cook my own meal. Mine is uh, probably because my mom loves to bake. She she's not a good baker at first, but after that she gradually get better. For my birthday, she bakes me a cake shaped like a teddy bear. It's kind of sweet for her to do that out of her comfort zone. I would um, cry if my mom did that. Yeah. <laughs> what is your biggest secret? Mana boleh bagi tahu, ya Allah. <laughs> if I tell you, then it's not a secret anymore, is it? Smaller secret. Okay, I can give you a smaller secret. Yeah. Because people think I cook at home a lot, but actually my husband does all the cooking at home, <sighs> and I just like get fed. Master dekat you, hmm, he pernah cheating in exam. Hey, oh my God! <laughs> if you're teaching me, you know. So your husband helped you to cook? No, no, he, he he cooks for me to eat. Oh, I cook for my videos for and video. he cooks for me to eat. I, I sebenarnya takut lipas. Oh. I takut yang sangat takut. I pernah one time I nampak lipas dalam bilik kawan I dekat hostel. I scream so loud. I scream so so loud. It became like an emergency. Everyone had to empty the building. Oh my God. To kumpul at bawah sebab I sangat takut and I didn't come out because it's my fault right tapi diorang ingat ada emergency something happen so diorang suruh empty the building sebab ingat ada something happen lah because someone scream so loud oh, why, right? so I make contacts online mm -hmm. but to till this day even my parents don't know about it oh no yeah so one time I mm -hmm. went out with them it's gonna be good. and then uh, in the public then someone came up to me hey you're Moses right I'm like yeah. yes can I take a picture and then uh, while we are taking picture, I, I was looking at my mom and I was like, is that? And then <laughs> my mom came over, is that person okay? Why did she came, come up to you and then take a picture? That's me line point up. What's the best piece of advice you give to your younger self? Hmm. You're beautiful just the way you are and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Oh. I would advise my younger self to not give up on your creative side. It will work out. What about you? Hmm, mine would be obviously 
obviously never cheating in exam guys <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 62.7! Uh, okay, uh, I win. Uh. What is one thing you wish people knew about you? On the online, I have a very silly, crazy persona. But in real life, if you know me, I'm pretty much like this. Chill. More chill, more toned down. Oh, okay. And then a lot of people, they haven't met me yet. They always thought I'm like very loud, loud yeah. very crazy. They expect the same models they see yeah, on the screen. Same thing. I feel like people think the same way for me as well. Oh, yeah? Like when they meet me, they think I'm going to be like, oh, really loud or like super like extroverted. Are passionate. you very loud on your content? Mm -hmm. Not super loud like you. But like, you know, I talk more. I'm okay. like present. So yeah. people always assume that content creators are always like, ooh, mm. extroverts. Like mm. the most like outgoing people right, in right. the world. It's kind of funny that we came here knowing yeah. nothing. Yeah. Now we know pretty much a lot. I kagum juga sebenarnya makan simple macam ni pun kita boleh ada big talk. Betul, betul, betul. <laughs> Deep. After this, I punya yang memorable food tu ada rencana. Shall we cheers our last one? Cheers. Cheers. Alright. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you guys had fun getting to know me and Moses. It was nice meeting you here. I learned a lot about you. Me too. I hope we can do this again. Thank you guys. Bye. And we'll see you again next time.